हेलो एवरी वन आई एम दत्तात्रेणी कम वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन अवर चैनल ई फंडा न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज हाई इंटीग्रिटी प्रेशर प्रोटेक्शन सिस्टम हिप्स एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल देन प्लीज विजिट टू अवर चैनल ई फंडा एंड वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज क्रिएटेड रिलेटेड द वेरियस टॉपिक्स ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग फंडामेंटल प्रोजेक्ट एंड करियर इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंड कंट्रोल इंजीनियरिंग डेलेवरेबल्स टेलीकम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग procurement in engineering and many more and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel e funda so let's begin with our today's topic that is high integrity pressure protection system hips high integrity pressure protection system that is hips a high integrity pressure protection system hip is a type of a safety instrumented system Designed in accordance with IEC 61508 to prevent over pressurization of a pipeline or a vessel in a plant. One can refer to the picture where three initiators, logic solver, and shutdown valves are shown as a complete configuration of a hip system. In traditional system, over pressure is dealt with through the relief valve system. the relief valve system have obvious disadvantage such as a release of a flammable and a toxic process fluid into the environment and often a large footprint of the installation with increasing the environmental awareness relief system are no longer an acceptable solution in the industry hips is applied to prevent over pressurization of a plant or a pipeline by shutting off the source of the high pressure a system that closes the source of over pressure within 2 second with at least the same reliability and a safety relief valve is usually identified as a hips system a hips is a complete functional loop consist of one can refer to the picture where all the three pressure transmitters are connected to the plc then actuated valve two numbers are shown a the initiator that detect the high pressure this initiator may be electronic or mechanical type b for electronic hip a logic solver which processes the input from the initiator to an output to the final element c the final elements that actually performs the corrective action in the field by bringing the process to a safe state the final element consists of a valve and the actuator and possibly the solenoids or the mechanical initiator this is how the introduction of a hips system moving on to types of hips system based on experience and expertise offer two types of a hips one integral mechanical hips since 1974 second full electronic hips since 2000 now we will see the first type that is integral mechanical hips in 1974 the german dvgw certified the final element including mechanical initiators in accordance with en 14382 former din 3381 since that the date has field experience with a safety shut off valve with actuator and initiator closing within the 2 seconds one can refer to the configuration of a mechanical hips safety loop where one can see the pressure switches as a mechanical initiators and the final elements connected through the pressure switches similarly the main features of the integral mechanical hip systems are a integrated safety loop to iec 61508 en 12186 b safe and simple c option not requiring external energy that is a stand alone hip system d no wiring is required e set point accuracy is less than 1% f system to seal 3 or 4 type g third party validated failure data one can see the configuration where integral mechanical hips 
one out of two mechanical version that is a pneumatic is shown this is how the integral mechanical hips configuration we will move on to the second type that is a full electronic hips second type full electronic hips with electronic pressure transmitter when designing a hip system always treat a hip and other cyst as a complete certified functional loop and not on a separate component level safety wise the hips loop is designed in accordance with the iec 61508 and 61511 on the specification side of the final element the design is an in accordance with en 14382 there is a din 3381 one can refer to the configuration of the electronic hips safety loop where three initiators as a pressure transmitter connected to the logic solver and then the feedback or corrective action from the logic solver is given to the final control element where we can control as these are the shutdown valves one can see the picture now the misunderstanding that system stand for a controller and that a cyst can be designed on the component level is the cause of the biggest problem in the implementation of the hips system under the specifications of the mechanical components and the acceptance of a component safety integrity level that is a seal certification instead of verification of the complete loop seal is still a pitfall the main features of a full electronic hip systems are as follows a integrated safety loop to iec 61508 and 61511 b no limit on the distance between the transmitters and the final element being a electronic system c communication with a planned safety system d possibility of a integrated monitoring e hardwired solid state logic solver f high integrity manifold block for safer operation g system to seal 3 or 4 one can also see the picture where full electronic hips two out of three pneumatic version is also shown where initiator logic solver and the final element with their actuating devices are shown moving on to hip system supplier and their schemes so far we have seen introduction to hip system their types and now we are moving on to the supplier system configuration one can refer to the pictures where emerson system is shown and the emerson shows that two out of three configuration is usually preferred for a hip system as it provides availability as well as the reliability for the system one can refer to the left hand side picture where three pressure transmitters are shown is connected to the logic solver for two out of three configurations and similarly the shutdown valves are shown where the signal from logic solver is connected to the sovs for their necessary action now one can refer to the scheme shown by emerson and there one can see the similar arrangement where three pressure rosemont transmitter two out of three configuration is connected to the delta v cis logic solver system and then further on the downside virgo valves are used where the fisher dvc controller is being used and the signal is sent from delta v cis logic solver for this uh, final element for their necessary action similar the benefit of this delta v cis logic solver that it has a inbuilt communication link where bpcs and ams suits are getting communicated and thanks for the emerson for having this configuration where high availability and reliability can be achieved through this system over pressure protection system compared psv or hips a application of a hips first to eliminate a particular overpressure scenario from the design basis 
of a safety system for example and hips can be applied to eliminate over pressure scenario of a closed outlet control valve failure etc second to replace psv or reduce its capacity whereas a hip can replace a psv in a certain over pressure scenarios it cannot in certain other scenario such as a fire however in a later cases it can be used to reduce psv capacity as well third to reduce the capacity of a disposal system example that is a flare system by eliminating need for a or reducing the capacity of a psv fourth to provide a better risk reduction than a psv if required by reducing its pfd to less than that of a psv such a higher risk reduction may be applied or required in high risk process units example those involving highly toxic materials fifth to provide additional risk reduction by using hips in combination with psv sixth to provide protection against over pressure where psv is ineffective or impractical similarly now moving on to b advantages of a hips over psv first whereas a psv protects against over pressurization by releasing the excess fluid from the system and a hips protects the system by cutting off the supply of a fluid to the system example a flare system can be considered where no such facility is required in case of an hips thus the use of a hips can reduce the cost of a flare system sustainability and substantially second a revamp of an existing plant may require a capacity expansion of the existing flare system if psv is installed this may involve substantial cost addition the use of hips instead of a psv may lead to substantial cost saving by eliminating the need for increase in capacity of the existing flare system as it does not required or evolve any fluid release moreover the capacity expansion of the existing flare system may be impractical due to the plot size limitation in such a scenario or a situation hips may be used only option available as a means of the over protection third while psvs into operation may cause harmful impact on environment by releasing greenhouse gases into the atmosphere whereas hips protects environment by not releasing any emission into the atmosphere fourth hips can provide better risk reduction than the psv by increasing its performance level performance level or a seal of an hips can be increased by increasing the redundancy level of the sensor and final control element or safe failure fraction of its component or by reducing test interval for example the performance level of a hips can be increased from seal 1 to seal 2 by increasing number of sensor as well as shutdown valves from 1 to 2 with 1 out of 2 voting with sff 60 to 90 per second fifth when installed in combination with psv hips can reduce the risk extremely to the low level c disadvantages of a hips over psv since hip acts by closing an inlet flow stream it may lead to shutdown and production losses the plant has to be restarted and hazardous events and associated risk are more likely to occur during the startup and shutdown operation than the normal operation second whereas psv can be useful for all commonly known over pressure scenario hips cannot be applied for all such scenarios for example it cannot be applied for over pressure scenario such as a fire and thermal expansion thus hips may not be used 
as a substitute to PSV in all situations rather than it can supplement the PSV. Third, stricter requirement of the maintenance, testing and inspection may add to cost to HIPS system. In order to avoid the spurious functions of the sensor, two or more, that means three sensor, may require to increase the regularity with one out of two or two out of three voting, which may comply the system and reduce the safety reliability of the HIPS system. This is how we have covered our today's topic, that is the HIPS, where we have seen introduction to HIPS, types of HIPS, then the advantages, application and disadvantages. Hope this video will help you to understand the concept of the HIPS and their implementation. Keep watching our channel for new videos on new days. With this, we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows. If you are new to our channel, that is our YouTube channel eFunda, then subscribe to our channel eFunda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel eFunda. Similarly, you can follow us on Instagram page. Similarly, you can follow us on our Facebook page as well. And keep watching our channel eFunda for various topics related to engineering and a project. With this, we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic. Keep watching our channel eFunda. Thanks. Watch our channel for new day, new topic.